and welcome back to another video in the Stay At Home series. And today we are going to be talking about the best baits to use to catch giant smallies on Lake Erie. So, as you know, Lake Erie is literally in my backyard. I can drive down the street and go fishing. Last summer, with getting into a bigger boat, I got my boundaries changed so that I can fish some of the outer bay of Long Point. And I took that as an opportunity to crack on some smallies, try new baits, new techniques, and find new smallmouth bass spots. So today we are going to be talking about some Lake Erie classics but also the baits that I learned and loved to use last summer. So the first bait I discovered out of not being prepared for a fishing trip. I had recently seen Simon Frost and he had given me a pack of his favorite color of tube jigs, but I accidentally forgot the tubes in the car and I only had one color of tube jig in my boat. I wasn't catching a whole lot of fish. I was getting bites, but they weren't committing. So I wanted to try and find a different color bait to see if they would actually commit. And I ended up trying something completely different. I used a different jig head, which is the Neon Moon Eye Jig, and I used a Rhythm Wave. And you know what? It worked very, very well. Fish. Oh man, I felt that one hit. Oh, he's feeling alive. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, I, don't you just love it when they jump? You can see them right out of the water. Come on, fish it. Let's go. Ready? Come on. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. <sighs> Get in there! Get in there! Come on! Come on! Yes! Woohoo! Let's check constant on up. This is another nice smallie. Let's lift him in. Third smallie in the boat. Second smallie on the neon moon eye jig head. Let's go. Another chunky one. Getting ready for winter. Oh, this is what Lake Erie is about, guys. Oh, gotta love these smallies. As you can tell from that video clip, it definitely worked. And the really cool thing about this jig is the sound it makes underwater. We're gonna play a quick clip right now for you guys to listen to. I don't know what it sounds like. It could sound like a crayfish moving through the rocks or some sort of animal, but it definitely makes a difference because when you listen to a tube jig, here, we'll show you a clip really quick. As you can see, when the tube jig is in the water, there is complete silence. I don't know if it was the sound or the color, but there was definitely a difference because I went from catching nothing to catching five fish in about two hours, which is crazy. So if you ever get the chance, I really suggest you put this neon moon eye in your tackle box. Moving on to bait number two. The next bait I'm going to be talking about is my favorite bait to use while fishing for smallmouth bass. I first used this Jackal Rearrange Jerk Bait. It's one of my favorite jerk baits that I have. Early last summer, it was post spawn and all the smallmouth bass were still in shallow water. We were fishing the outer bay in about six to 10 feet 
and we smashed so many smallies. Just gonna spot lock here for a little bit. Go on. Oh yeah, this feels like a good one. Oh yes. Oh, first cast, first cast. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, jerk bait bass. First cast. We might need the net for this one. Oh yeah, we're gonna need the net for this one. Where's the net? Oh gosh, it's a big one. Okay. Uh. Oh, can't go loose, can't get loose. Can't get it loose. Oh gosh, oh gosh. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. <gasps> Come on, Avery. I cannot lose this fish. Oh gosh. one as we were coming in and I knew that I that there would be something good here first cast I got this guy oh, come on hook I guess he was hooked better than I thought oh yes jerk bait bass on Lake Erie let's go this guy is my biggest one today by far I just want to get a quick weight on him and then we're gonna put him in the live well for pictures. Yes! As you can see, jerk baits are awesome for smallie fishing. I went out with my uncle and I fished a tournament last summer and we caught so many fish using the jerk bait. So definitely add a jerk bait to your fishing collection. Moving on to bait number three. So this next bait has been really popular the past couple of years. It is the Ned Rig. I first discovered this rig last summer on Bass Opener. I went out with my friend Alan and we caught lots of smallies. After that trip, I fished the Ned Rig a lot. I used it in my TV show. I used it in lots of vlogs and pretty much Every time I went fun fishing, I had a Ned Rig rigged in the boat. Here it comes, tighten up, get ready. Just go slow, slow, just tighten up. You got, got it. it, real fast, buddy, real fast. Ooh, it's a big one. Ooh, it is a big one. Ooh, big one, big one. You got this, get your tip up. Keep lifting it, good job. Oh, we hit the boat. Yes! <laughs> Those are the ones. This is a big fish. Oh my goodness. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> you might have a, it might be close to five pounds. Okay, it's five pounder. Yes! Yes! Okay, so this is our smallest one. We're gonna put this one into the live well. What's this bait called? That is called a yammy fish. It is very simple to rig. I got a yammy fish, which is the bait that I rig it with. I use the finesse half moon jig. And so I line it up to see where the hook is going to come out. Then I just put it on like so, push it through, and there you have it. It is such a simple, cool little bait and it I don't understand why fish love it so much, but they do. And it is definitely a bait worth having in your tackle box. Moving on to bait number four. When people think of soft plastic swim baits and smallmouth bass, they usually think of something small, like this 2.8 inch swim bait, or maybe even a 3.8 inch swim bait. And don't get me wrong, these work very well for catching smallmouth, especially using them as a follow-up bait. But 
Last summer, I decided that I would experiment and try using something like this instead of this. And man, I caught some big smallmouth. Oh, I got one. Oh yeah, yeah, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Oh, it's the next one. Oh. Calm down, Avery. Calm down. You can't lose another one. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! 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 Oh yeah! First smallmouth of the day! Oh my goodness! It is a nice one! I have worked so hard for this. Finally, I've caught a smallmouth. After a long time, I lost two nice ones, and I caught this guy. Let's unhook. The cool thing about it is I can put it on a bait caster, cast it out really far, and then work it back, reel it back, and cover a lot of water. So next time you go out on Lake Erie, try using these bigger swim baits, 4.8 inch, 5 inch, um, swim baits, because you might just hook in to your personal best smallmouth bass. Moving on to bait number five and six. So at the beginning of this video, I said we were going to be talking about some Lake Erie classics. And you cannot do a bait video on smallmouth bass without mentioning drop shots and tube jigs. Tube jigs are probably the most used bait for smallie fishing on Lake Erie. Really anywhere you go on the lake, you are catching fish on these tube jigs. They are very easy to rig, very easy to fish, and they kind of look like a goby popping around on rocks on the bottom of the lake where the smallies like to hang out. I've actually caught my PB smallie on a tube jig and witnessed Simon Frost catch a ridiculous seven pound smallmouth bass on a tube jig. Fish on. Six pounder right there, Dad, six pounder. I love your optimism, thank you. It's a six pounder, I can tell. I might be bigger than a six pounder. I can net him. I can net him. Okay, quick, quick. I want to get him. Ready? Right in the net. I got him. He's big. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, that's a huge fish. Avery, high five. I might be more excited about this than you. That is that's a giant fish. That's definitely six pounds. More, maybe. Seven and a quarter pounds. More high five. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were bad luck. I am bad luck. Well, if this is bad luck, just keep it coming. Now, we're gonna make this fish look much bigger. <laughs> Give it the respect it deserves. <laughs> so huge. Oh my gosh. I wanna catch one now. That's my five pounder from earlier. It was so crazy watching him catch a seven pounder and I'm still waiting to hook in to my seven pounder. Hopefully, I'll catch one one day and live up to Simon Frost, the Lake Erie smallmouth bass master. And last but not least, we have the drop shot. I do not just fish for smallies using a drop shot. You can catch a lot of species like perch, brown trout, even largemouth bass, you can catch on the drop shot. And smallies on Lake Erie are no exception. Whenever I go out fishing, I always make sure to have a drop shot in my boat because they just plain out catch fish. Fish on. Good stuff. Double header, Avery. Mine's not very big, yours? I don't know, I can't really tell. Neither can I now. He feels pretty big. Oh my goodness, he's peeling line. We'll do yours first. That's a good one, I think. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, this way. Oh yeah. There's a four pounder. Oh yeah. Finally. All right, hang on. <laughs> How do you like that? That is some better size fish. Awesome. Oh yeah. Yours is bigger, that's not fair. <laughs> oh yes. So this is the biggest smallmouth that we've caught all day. We finally got some good sizes to put on the board. Let's weigh these guys, then get them back. 418. 418, it was about to one. That is good fishing, lady. Oh yeah. And there you have it folks, those are some of my favorite baits to catch smallies on Lake Erie. And if you have any bait ideas that I have not mentioned, maybe I could even try them out if I've never used them, please comment down below and let us know. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And always remember to take a kid fishing. They'll have lots of fun.